get a band, attach it around something nearby, and then put it around your foot. You're gonna do two positions here. With the knee a little bit bent, heel on the ground, your toes are gonna be a little bit pointed towards the ground, kind of like your ballerina pointing your foot. Then you're gonna take the foot and you're gonna rotate it to the side as far as you can go, and then come back. As you go forward and backwards, you're trying to keep the ball of your foot on the ground. You don't want to let it come off the ground. The big toe, however, may come off the ground, and that's okay. But the ball, the pinky toe, should stay on the ground. As you do this, you want the movement over and back to be smooth and slow. If you feel any juddering or shake, shakiness, then try to slow it down. You can do as many reps as you feel comfortable. You want to kind of get your fatigue up to like an eight, nine out of 10. Next step is you're gonna flex your foot up so the toes are pointed towards your knee. And then you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna rotate the foot this way as far as you go, rotate it back. Try to make the motion smooth and slow. You're gonna do this till the fatigue is at an eight or nine out of 10. One word on form. As you do this, make sure the kneecap is always pointing straight ahead. Your shin bone may rotate with the foot and that's okay, but your knee should not be going with the foot. You wanna keep this area of your thigh nice and stationary. Next up, ankle mobilizations. Take a resistance band, preferably a very strong resistance band, put it around the crease of your ankle. Walk it out so that you're at your limit, like you can't go any farther because the band is so strong. And then from there, you're just gonna bend your knee and come back. So as you do this movement, the movement you're producing along with the tension of the ankle is gonna improve the mobility of the joint. Every time that knee goes forward, you wanna go as far forward as you can without the heel popping off the ground. If this feels kind of funky with balance, feel free to put a chair or something nearby for balance sake. If it's still not feeling too great, go into a half kneel position and lean forward and backwards. Both of these will get the job done. Try to aim around uh, 60 seconds worth of work. Next, we'll go into balance work. So you'll stand on your left leg and then we'll do a figure eight with your opposite leg all the way forwards and all the way backwards. And you're trying to have the foot kind of go in front of your body for the first half of the figure eight and then behind your body for the opposite half. And you can start with kind of small figure eights. As that gets easier, go ahead and make those a little bit wider and bigger. What you wanna do is just kind of challenge your foot a little bit. If it's rocking forward or backwards, but you're not losing your balance, you're doing a good job. Aim for three rounds of 30 seconds.